from Native American lore, there's a story that I just can't forget. An Indian brave was walking under a large high cliff and he looked down and saw an eagle's egg. And he picked up that eagle egg and he couldn't climb the cliff to put it back in the nest. So he went and found some prairie chickens, some prairie chicken eggs, and the hen was hatching them. He took that large eagle egg and put it among all the little prairie chicken eggs. And the mother prairie chicken never knew the difference. So all the prairie chickens hatched and the eagle hatched and the eagle just assumed he was a prairie chicken. And he would cluck and scratch and grub for worms and once in a while fly about, you know, a foot or two off the ground, about 10 or 12 yards. And, and he lived his life, an eagle, but yet thinking he was a prairie chicken. And then about the middle of his life, he looked up one day in the heavens and he saw this bird soaring through the sky with golden wings, catching a, a, a wind and whew, Boy, he looked at his buddy, and the eagle said, look at that. What is that? He said, that's an eagle, a changeling eagle. That's the king, the chief of all birds. <laughs> Don't you pay any attention. You'll never be able to fly like that. So the eagle just looked up and admired the power, and the majesty, and, and the magnificence of that flying eagle thinking all the time he was just a prayer chicken, never realizing that he had all the capacity to be the eagle that God had designed. He lived a long time and died. An eagle died his whole life. He thought he was a prayer chicken. There's a lot of prairie chickens in here today. A lot of us, prairie chickens. God had plans, a design for your life, for my life. And we can't do anything about our environment. We can't do anything about our DNA. But we can do a whole lot about the choices we made. And a lot of times we made choices that lead us into a prairie chicken kind of lifestyle rather than the lifestyle of an eagle. And by an eagle doesn't mean that we're wealthy or successful or, or popular or, or have a whole lot of pleasure, a whole lot of toys. That's not success. That's not what I mean by an eagle. An eagle is someone who becomes everything God designed that person to become. But still, a lot of us are content to being prairie chickens. And God must look down and say, you know, when is she going to wake up? When is he going to come to his senses and begin to make wise choices? 